Now, very good evening and I'm Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Today is the 291st day of your quality blessing and Baba wants us to have two very important qualities today. One is love, the real love and one is being somebody who renounces a lot of things in their life for the truth to prevail, the true love to prevail. So there's a lot of renunciation for love to be there. Love cannot be there when we are wanting something in return for it. So let's explore what does Baba wants us to do here. Baba says, may you be loving and cooperative and receive success in service with the powers of love and renunciation. So let's get into the explanation part. In the beginning, Beginning means when Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University was created. So what was the founding father's initiative in this? They had little power of knowledge. So when in 1936 this small institution was created, it was known as Om Mandli. And during that time the knowledge wasn't so deep. Because if you start giving or imparting knowledge to somebody without having any form of relationship, the other person might listen with in one ear and let it out with the other ear. That means they might not even listen clearly. So that time, how was success achieved? So Baba says, but they achieved success on the basis of their renunciation and love. So they renounced wanting anything in return and gave true love to everybody. And that is what kept the organization together. Knowledge came later. So in our life also, in our families also, we tend to give knowledge or orders sometimes or guidance to our children to our loved ones god says first love and then you tell them what is right and what is wrong don't do the opposite way it doesn't work ever so love should also not be in such a manner that you give them something and ask them to complete their work or their homework especially to the kids you're giving them love so that they can complete the homework no don't do it that way it should be without any reason that is what is God is saying. Renunciation is very important. And that is the practice which was used and guided by God in Brahma Kumaris in the beginning itself in 1936. That has brought about this organization where people have been close knit together because of this renunciation and love. And everybody is taught to be a renunciate. So then Baba says, Day and night the intellects had love for Baba. Baba means God the Father. And intellect for Baba and the yagya yagya means uh, we have seen that they do havan what is a havan you burn a pyre and then in that pyre you put all the different things which you want to give away from your house in result of receiving and you want a result of receiving the goodness in your family the prosperity of your family the health in your family so you burn maybe oil, you burn sesame seeds, you do a lot of things, other things which you do. You just put them into the havan or the burning pyre or the fire and then you expect good things to happen in your life. But God says this yagya or this havan is about burning the negativity within you, the impure thoughts within us, impure thoughts of greed, ego, jealousy within us. And when we do that, that is known as yagya. So Brahma Kumaris is also yagya. So Baba says, would emerge from their hearts. What is that? Baba would emerge from everybody's heart because they felt that love for God. This love made everyone cooperative. Centers were created with these powers, not with the power of knowledge first, but with the power of love which they felt because truth can only be there when there is the power of love, not just of knowledge, but that knowledge is seen in the form of love not any form of wanting anything in return a true renunciate is someone who's powerful enough to move people to move mountains so they saw that renunciation and that is what has brought Brahma Kumari still here so then God says they became manmana above with the love of the corporeal one so physical beings who are following God's guidance of true love they feel that true love and they were able to give true love because they were able to fill themselves up with true love because of meditation power and they received that love from God and they could give it to others 
and that is what they spread and everybody became someone who was meditating on God because they felt that true love which they were seeking all in the world but people are there to give you knowledge but not make you feel the love which comes through knowledge so then God says they became man man above with the love of the corporeal one the love of the corporeal one made them cooperative so now still surround everyone with the powers of love and renunciation and you will be successful so surrounding others with love first we have to surround ourselves with love our mind with love and that can only happen when we don't want anything in return when we do things without expecting anything in return that is true renunciation without even wanting the name and fame or even thinking that i made this person move ahead in his life because i renounced so and so thing in my life no that is something which we get to hear a lot in our world today between family members and that is not true renunciation that's where the true love isn't there so god says without expecting anything if you renounce and the true love is felt by others the others will even change for you rome give other people knowledge first first give them love true love without even wanting to give them any knowledge and they'll come and seek knowledge from you so i leave you with this beautiful beautiful vardan find that change happening in your family bring about that change in your family first love and then they'll seek knowledge from you automatically they'll listen to you automatically have a blessed good night om shanti Thank you.